What's going on everyone, this is Derek13, and before I start off this video, I just want to give out a quick apology to all of my subscribers, because um, I haven't made a video in quite some time, and the reason for that is I've been really busy with school lately, and I just got back from a five-day Florida trip um, for soccer, and I've been trying to make up all the schoolwork, and I've just been really busy, um, so I haven't had a lot of time to make videos for YouTube, but um, I had some time today, and so I decided to make this one, and I'm going to be talking about um, the iOS 6 untethered jailbreak, and that includes um, the iPhone 5, the iPad 4, iPad mini, all the latest devices, um, because there's been lots of little uh, pieces of information, um, little things that have been coming out ever since iOS 6 was released, and I've never really made a video on it, so I wanted to make this one to sum, sum up all of the jailbreak news that have came out and all the you know different pieces that um, could end up in an iOS 6 unto the jailbreak. Eventually, I think we will get it because um, lots of people have lost hope. Um, you know, I was definitely, um, I was definitely mad when, well, not mad, but I was disappointed when um, I updated my iPhone 4S to iOS 6 and I found out you couldn't even have a tethered jailbreak on that. Um, just goes to show, and there still isn't one, so it just goes to show um, how difficult iOS 6 is to um, jailbreak because um, later in the video I'm going to be talking about it, but um, Apple did make iOS 6 um, harder to jailbreak. But anyways, so let's start off from the beginning. iOS 6, uh, the latest firmware, was released around three months ago and Ever since there hasn't, ever since it's come out, there hasn't been an untethered jailbreak for it. You know, because normally what we're kind of used to, people like me um, in the jailbreak community, we're used to like, oh, a new firmware comes out, untethered jailbreak is available for the super old devices. You know, like when iOS 5 come, came out, it's like, oh, iPod Touch third generation, iPhone 3G or 3GS, untethered jailbreak. You know, there, there would at least be an untethered jailbreak for the older devices. But for iOS 6, there isn't even an untethered jailbreak for the older ones. You know, it's only tethered, um, which is really unfortunate. Um, so, you know, this it's definitely, you can tell that um, this is a harder uh, OS to jailbreak. Um, Apple definitely has made it harder. Um, and then I think most of you remember I did make a video on this. Um, CH Pwn installed Cydia and jailbroke an iPhone 5 on release date. Um, that's That was my last jailbreak news video I've made. Um, I made it when the iPhone 5 first came out around a week after I think. Um, basically I I just told you guys and what I'm about to tell you right now is um, CH Pwn basically posted a picture of his iPhone 5 screen, a screenshot of the screen and had Cydia on it and he said taller screens like Cydia 2. So he jailbroke and installed Cydia on the iPhone 5 on release day. Um, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't an un untethered jailbreak because uh, that obviously takes some more time. But um, it obviously was buggy or it wasn't ready yet. Um, obviously because it was really early, it was the first day the iPhone 5 came out. But he still was able to do it. So that's some progress. Um, but obviously he could have just released it that day, but uh, that wouldn't have been smart because it's probably super unstable and not ready for the public yet um, at the time. But next, um, CH Pwn then jailbroke the iPad 4, which has the A6X processor. Um, processor. And... And that was some big news for the jailbreak community because it had a new processor and he was still able to jailbreak it. And then at the Worldwide Jailbreak Convention, Pod2G said that he had some partial injection data, which could have been useful, but Apple patched the .plist file he was using. So unfortunately, not really useful anymore. Um, then in October, Planet Being released a fail break with a kernel exploit to the public so that other developers could try to find their jailbreak on their own. And in November, Post 6 Ninja, or I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, um, he said in a tweet that he was working on bigger things. And I remember seeing this, um, but I never... I think I maybe I just missed it, but I never saw his next tweet. And someone questioned him. They said, something, what could be bigger than an iPhone 5 jailbreak? And he said, boot ROM and decryption keys for A5, A5X, A6, and A6X. And those are basically the different processors of the newer devices. And boot ROM exploits are harder to find. But if Post6 Ninja succeeds, 
then the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad Mini, and iPad, all the newest models, will have an untethered jailbreak forever, which that would be the best possible scenario if he could actually find that and that would be just great because the iPhone 5 would have an untethered jailbreak. Every device would have an untethered jailbreak because um, no one likes it when, you know, they come out with an untethered jailbreak. Oh, yeah, we got one for iOS 6, but it's only for the iPod Touch 3rd generation, which iPod Touch 3rd generation can't even have iOS 6. But, you know, if an untethered jailbreak comes out soon, we want it to be for all devices. And if Post 6 Ninja were to succeed, then that would be the case. Um, and CH Poem posted a picture of an iPhone 5 running Cydia tweaks. And he said, can't say too much, but we're still missing critical pieces, so it's not releasable right now. Believe me, we'd love to release it as soon as possible. Now, this is pretty big, because now he's saying that, you know, there, he said, he said we, you know, so it's not only him. Um, that just goes to show that there's multiple people working on this jailbreak, and it's including the iPhone 5, which pretty much means all the other newer devices. So, you know, I'm really, really excited that, you know, they're working on this, and I don't think it's too far off. Um, and next, later in November, um, the iOS 6 Untethered Jailbreak Dream Team, which consists of Pod2G, Muscle Nerd, Planet Being, um, which are two, three pretty familiar names. I'm guessing if anyone has a Twitter and they pay attention to Jailbreak News, then any of those three names sound familiar. Um, and then also Mark Dowd, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, they were at the Hack in the Box security conference, and Dowd said that Apple has changed the security in iOS 6, making an untethered Jailbreak a lot more difficult. And then this very last thing I wanted to mention, which makes me... Uh, pretty excited is Planet Being said we still have a few tricks up our sleeve, which I think that you know that definitely sounds pretty exciting. And so I personally don't know when this Untethered Jailbreak is going to come out. Um, they're not saying many things to let us know when it's going to be released. I'm hoping it's soon because I have an iPhone 5 and I'm going to be getting an iPad Mini pretty soon. And I would really like to have Untethered Jailbreaks on that. You know, I really miss having all the nice little tweaks that I had on my iPhone 4S because you know I use my iPhone 5 every day. And you know, there's lots of useful tw useful tweaks I used to have on my iPhone 4S and you know, it's it's not as good, you know, using my iPhone 5 without those cool little tweaks. So hopefully we can have an untethered jailbreak for all of these devices soon. Um, and of course, if you're new to my channel, if you're watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to me because as soon as this jailbreak comes out, I'm going to be making a tutorial. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to take all of the jailbreak news from the past three months, all the big pieces and just kind of put them together in one video for you all just kind of a, to inform you about what the status is of the current iOS 6 untethered jailbreak um, once again I'm sorry for not uploading I think it's been like let's see it's been over two weeks it's a two and a half weeks I think I'm, I'm sorry for not uploading in that long of a time just like I said school is you know school's kind of wrapping up I got this week and then I have next week and then it's winter break um, and hopefully I can make lots of videos over winter break um, but right now you know it's f finals are next week and I'm you know doing I have my first pre-cal final tomorrow pre-calculus but anyways enough about my personal life thanks for watching this video guys please don't forget to click that like button and leave a comment down below and if you haven't already like I said, if you're new to this, my channel and you really want the iOS 6 under the jailbreak, please make sure to subscribe. But anyways, guys, once again, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you all in my next one.